with Naima Mora from Next Top Model, who is the host of tonight's lovely runway show. Um, want to get a little bit of feedback on how you got started and your claim to fame, like how you got to be a Next Top Model and what you're doing now. Um, I was discovered here in New York City. Um, I moved to New York to become a ballet dancer, and it was a short-lived career, only about a year and a half. <laughs> And I was discovered uh, by the casting directors of America's Next Top Model. Next thing I know, I was on the show. I won. <laughs> and um, it, it led to some beautiful campaigns. And I did a lot of hosting with CoverGirl Cosmetics. And now I'm just, you know, an international model doing my thing, doing their fashion week, hosting shows, you know, all of that. So what I was mentioning earlier about our upcoming uh, it's a fashion model, like it's models and designers working together, the competition TV series. It's gonna be in 14 different countries around the world. So that so whoever we choose as the host of the show <laughs> would need to travel internationally. Is that something something that you would be interested in or that you I have a valid passport. <laughs> um, you know, I think that it's a really cool idea. Design aesthetics vary and differ all over the world, and I think that every place has something beautiful to offer, and I think to do so in a, in a competitive scope would be very interesting to see how different cultures and aesthetics and perspectives of fashion and beauty inter, 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 intermingle <laughs> and make a fabulous fierce show. But yes, I have a passport, so. So, so basically, the, the message of the show is that beauty is, comes in all shapes and sizes, and we're trying to be more diverse, like diversity and inclusion of all different types. And we're going after um, you know, each of the countries. We're going after new faces, both in models and new fashion designers that are up and coming. And uh, what are, what are your thoughts on you know inclusion and you know rather than rather than the definition of beauty that's defined by the media. You know, per se. Like, what do you think about being in inclusivity? I guess. I think that diversity and inclusion is the future of the fashion and beauty industry, in my personal opinion. I've seen that a lot of designers and companies are doing, taking a lead with with that that theme. Um, in the past two or three seasons of New York Fashion Week, I've seen it in advertisements and everything, but it's New York, right? And we can expect it to be happening in New York where everyone is really, this city is known for people being free-spirited, being who they are, no holding back, and I, and I expect New York City to be the lead in that, which I love. But the rest of the world, yes, I think does need to catch up a little bit. I think that beauty comes definitely in all different shapes, sizes, orientations, backgrounds, life experiences. As human beings, it's just something that we have innately within us that needs to be brought out and celebrated. And the fashion industry and the beauty industry, I think, has a big job to really take that on and really start celebrating people on a, on a large scale globally. So, yeah, that's my opinion. Speaking of backgrounds, like what, what ethnicity are you? What, where, you, know, are you? Give us a little. I'm a little bit of everything. I consider myself uh, an international person, a global citizen. I grew up in Detroit, Michigan, and then New York City. I've lived in Los Angeles, Mexico City, um, parts of the Caribbean here and there. But um, I am a black and Mexican and a little bit of Irish and a little bit of other things in there as well. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a mix of a person and I love, for a long time it took me, um, it took me a long time to find a lot of courage and strength and being this good mix of things. But I find that I can relate to everyone and I, I love that about myself. I think it's my superpower. And you know, and, and I think it's easy for me with that upbringing and that background to be able to celebrate people of all different backgrounds, wherever they're from. Have you, have you ever experienced any um, like bullying or any you know things based on the fact that you are a mixed race? Has there ever been an issue for you? I think that everyone's experienced bullying. It's not. I don't think bullying is is, is specific to one group or 
typically who, who we see often ostracized um, in society. I think that bullying happens to everybody. And no bullying. One of the messages of our of our TV series, we're trying to subtly, you know, bring up self-esteem issues and you know how that anti, you know, anti-bullying and things like that. So it's all it's all about female empowerment, really, like you know, trying to really empower people and positive message. No, no next top model cat fighting where they're trying to cut each other's throats. <laughs> so we're trying to change that aspect too. We, we need more positive energy in the world today, don't yeah, you think? I agree. I agree 100. percent I'm a Buddhist. I'm a pacifist, but I think. A large part of the shift that we'll see in the future of the world really comes down to um, just really deciding to be beautiful and good people within ourselves individually, and then one by one, I think people can start to make a shift on a, on a global level. Yeah, generation by generation. It can take a little bit of time, but I think that is possible. Yeah. We would love to have you as uh, the host of our. TV series, so we'll, we'll have to talk to your agent, I guess. Yeah, so, I'll do call yeah. my agent. <laughs> your people will talk to my people. <laughs> Thank, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.